right, everyone. We're gonna do some exercises for our back today. And I have these this band, it snapped in half, actually. It's supposed to be this long. It snapped in half. I guess I was pulling it too hard. Had my Cheerios this morning. So we're gonna improvise as in life, anything. You got an obstacle, you gotta figure it out, overcome it, improvise it, and keep it moving, okay? So we're gonna take the bands, and this one has quite a bit of tension, so it's, it's for me, it's a challenge. So being able to pull all the way back is a challenge for these, this particular band, and I'm out of breath because I just did squats. <laughs> But for this particular brand, or band, the um, uh, tension of it, all right? So I'll go from the side so you can kind of see. So you're standing up straight, stomach in, shoulders back, feet about shoulder width apart. And please, always before you do any of these, just consult with your doctor, physician, you know, just to make sure that exercising at this time is good for you well it's good at any time but but what type of exercises or if you have to modify due to any illnesses or anything okay so we come out with the arms like so and pull back trying to keep your elbows straight trying to keep your elbows straight maybe slightly bent i can feel that all the way across my shoulder blades that's four that's five oh and we snapped again. And this is an older band, so it could be getting a little weak. All right, six, seven, eight, nine, and I can really feel that in between the shoulders, and 10. All right, so even though we had a little uh, apparatus function here, we still got our 10 in. We do about three sets of those. And then I like to, when I'm working, I like to always work the opposite muscle. So if I'm working my back, what's opposite my back is my chest. Now this might be a little tight, it's a little close, so it might be a little challenging with the chest. But you wanna bring it around behind you and pull in, because you're working those chest muscles, like so. Y'all see that? Or you could do um, push-ups. You don't see me here. Okay. Or you can do push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. The idea is to uh, work those chest muscles. So whether it's push-ups, whether it's you're, you're flat on the f uh, ground or floor, or whether you um, have your knees bent, whether you're using a band, you know, like so, whether you're using the band, whichever way you're using it, the idea is to work the chest muscles. Same thing with the back. You're working the back muscles, you're pulling back. You pull back, you're contracting those muscles, pull forward, you're contracting these muscles. So anytime you're doing exercise, if you're doing your bicep, you wanna do your tricep. If you're doing your um, quad, then you wanna do your hamstring, okay? Your abductor, your adductor muscle, all right? So whatever you do, if your time is limited, Whatever exercises you're, that you're doing, make sure you're doing them. Well, I don't say make sure, because people you know, exercise different ways, but just be, be aware of, be conscious of um, your balance, okay? Front, back, inner, outer, whatever it is. And then also, of course, your you know, ab muscles. You can um, do those, whether it's a full setup, a partial setup, because the idea really is just contracting these muscles. You could just sit just like this and just contract because you're just contracting these muscles right here. If you want to bring a knee up, you can. You know, if you want to go down and do a full sit up, your legs, whatever, you know, however you, uh, whatever works for you, you can do those. So I hope that helps you stay healthy, stay safe as we navigate 
this season is so challenging, so difficult. There's so many things going on that can distract us, that can depress us, that can cause anxiety, that can cause stress. All the more reason for you to get up, get out every day if you can, wherever it is that, that you are, wherever you can. Get up, get out, walk. Get some exercise in to release some of that stress, release some of that tension. Listen to the birds. They're chirping every single morning. This whole thing has started. When I wake up in the morning, they're, they're still chirping. So, you know, hold on to those little things. Focus on keeping yourself healthy, keeping yourself safe holistically, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Fit at 60 and beyond. You don't have to be 60 or beyond, but we're challenging you to stay, be, and stay fit, especially through this difficult season that we're in. Have a fabulous day. Blessings to you and embrace your journey.